Hey YouTube, this is Tynetta Irene and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a tri-colored ombre and a full glitter nail using colored acrylic. So this is where we're starting off and if you missed the video where I showed how to shape these nail tips, check my last video. It's called How to Shape Nail Tips to Perfection. So this is the color that I'm using from Glam and Glitz and I'm using this as the tip of the three color ombre so the first thing i'm going to do is place a bead at the bottom third of the nail and just make sure that that is even and it's blended out at the top when you're doing an ombre you don't want the beads to have a harsh edge so you always see me blend them out at the top and the bottom So once I have the tip covered, I'm going to go in with the second color and I'm using this orange from a brand called Yacoline Acosta and I found her on Instagram. Her acrylics are really good. I recommend them for beginners and advanced. They're good for 3D uh, flowers as well. So as you see, I'm going to place that on the second about halfway up the nail and just blend it into the pink color and blend the top of the bead up as well. It looks like I brought the orange down a little bit further than I wanted it, so you can go ahead and add a little bit more pink back into the ombre. Once I get the orange how I like it, I'm going to go in with my third color. And for this, I'm using Cover Pink by Young Nails. I just wanted this color to be neutral because I wanted the pink and the orange to stand out. And I'm just doing the same thing, blending the cover pink into the orange color and making sure I'm covering the rest of the nail with this color. So for the middle finger, I'm going to be doing an orange and pink ombre, just a two color ombre. So instead of putting the first color at the bottom third of the nail, I placed that one about halfway up the nail and I went ahead and made sure that the acrylic was covering the entire tip of the nail. Once I get that all the way down the tip of the nail, I'm just going to make sure that the shape is how I want it. So I always want to make sure when you're working with acrylic that you're keeping the acrylic in the shape of the tip that you already did. That's going to help you when you're filing at the end from having to do a lot of excess filing. So as you can see here, I'm applying the second color, which is the same pink color. And anytime you're doing the ombre, it's best to do more than one bead if you can. That way you can get a smoother blend. That's why you saw me do two small beads instead of one medium bead. This pink acrylic that I'm using is very marbly. As you can see, when I place the bead, it has multiple colors, but that's not what I wanted. So in order to kind of cover that up, I just added another bead of pink to try to bring all those colors together. And once I'm done with that finger, I'm going to move on to the pointer finger. And here I'm going to be doing the exact same three color ombre. I didn't really like how the orange blended into the pink so I'm just taking very small beads of pink and continuing to blend that back into the orange until I get the ombre that I'm looking for.
when I'm working with glitters, I always do the solid nails first. That's why you see I haven't done anything to the pinky nail yet because that's going to be a glitter nail. My reason for this is because I don't want any of the glitter that's going to be on the pinky nail to get into my monomer or get into my brush and then it'll get on the nails that I don't want glitter on. So I do the solid nails first and then I encapsulate them and then I will go back and do anything that I want to do with glitter. Once I got all the ombres done, I'm going to encapsulate the nails that are not going to have any glitter on them, which is just the two tricolor ombre nails. And as you can see, I'm just making sure that the nails are thick enough and that they have a good strong apex area. You also want to encapsulate ombre because when you're filing it, you don't want to file the blend away. So the encapsulation builds strength to the nail and it also protects the design that you did with the colored acrylic. Now we're moving on to the pinky nail, and this is the color I used for that. I'm using a gray acrylic and silver chunky loose glitter. And I'm using the gray acrylic under the loose glitter so that if there's any gaps in between the glitter, it won't seem so noticeable. If I were to use a black or a white, or even like the pink or orange acrylic under there, you could see it through the glitters. And that's not the look that I'm going for. I want it to be completely silver. So if you were to do like a red glitter nail or a pink glitter nail, you would want to use red or pink underneath the glitter. And I'm just placing the loose glitter onto the acrylic while it's still wet. And you kind of got to move fast if you're going to do this type of application. The other way you can do it is by applying a very thin layer of clear acrylic and just pressing those glitter pieces into the clear. Now when you're working with this, you have to be very thin. You don't want anything to be thick or bulky because when we encapsulate it, you don't want to make the nail even thicker. So as you can see, I got all the glitters on there. And now I'm going to encapsulate the glitter. The reason for encapsulating the glitter is for one, you want to protect the glitters in your design. So if you were to put the glitter directly on the top layer of the nail, whenever you went in to file the nail, the glitter would just file off. So the clear acrylic protects the glitter and keeps it inside the nail. And the clear acrylic also serves as the strength of the nail. So as you can see here, I'm just building up the nail to a thickness that is good for uh, clients to wear. So I'm checking the nail from the side view to make sure that the apex is where it needs to be. And it looked like it was just a little bit flat. So I'm adding one more bead right where I was pointing at. And that's going to be the apex of the nail. This is the glitter that I'm placing on the middle finger. And that clip got cut out, but I'm just going to show you how I use the loose glitter by dipping the acrylic directly into the glitter. And then I'll put that straight on the nail. Once I get the glitter laid, I will encapsulate this nail just like the rest of them. One tip for encapsulating, don't try to do the whole nail all at once, unless it's a very short nail. It can get really bulky really quick, 
so it's better to use medium to small beads when you're encapsulating and just keep checking from every angle to see where you need to add more acrylic. Once the acrylic has set on all the nails, I'm going to shape the nails for the final time. So for the stiletto nail, I'm going to go from side to side. You don't want to just do the left side completely and then do the right side completely because that's the easy way to over file. So I go from one side to the other side and keep checking to make sure that everything is even. Once the stiletto nail is done, I'll move over to the next nail. So I get the tip straight, left side, and then right side. And as you can see, when I'm filing the sides, the black line in the middle of the nail file is always facing me. And that's a way that you can make sure that your line is going to be straight. You also want to make sure that the entire surface of the nail that your filing straight is touching up against the nail file. So this is pretty easy. If you wanna see a more in-depth video about shaping, check out part one to this video. That's where we shape the nail tips for this set. As you can see, the final shaping step doesn't take me very long because I shaped the nail tips so well in the first step. Also, when you're applying the acrylic, you have to make sure that you're keeping the acrylic in the shape of the nail tips that you already did. And that will also help you cut down on the filing at the end. As you can see, I'm just making sure everything is even on the left side and the right side and making sure that the tip of the nail is straight. Also make sure that the nails underneath the side walls is clean. You don't want any extra acrylic or any of the residue from the nail tip to be underneath there because your client will have to end up picking that off when she leaves and she can mess her nails up doing that for one. And for two, nobody wants to have done nails. So just going that little extra step and making sure everything is clean will set you apart from other people that they've been to previously. After I finish shaping the nails, I'm going to file and buff the surface of the nails to make sure everything is smooth. And this is the finished product. If you wanna see what I did next to these nails, please check out part three of this video. And thank you for watching.